Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to tear into the JG Aurora A5X. Basically CR10, 300 by 300 by 400, but with JG Aurora guts in the brain box. So we're going to see their take on the CR10. Stay tuned. Alrighty, here's the contents of the box. We have our gantry, which is dual Z. No capture on the top. Good job, JG Aurora. Um, I'm not a fan of the non-adjustable um, wheels on the x-axis here, although it's pretty neat that you can pop the fan unit off to gain access to it with no tools. It's got a slot and hook assembly, which is pretty neat, and that's a standard CR10 fair hot end. Here is your bed. It's got these nice little flat clips, although it looks like they've taped the bed on there for the most part. And then here's your connections for the bed, which I am not a huge fan of. I don't know if this can handle that much power. That connector seems a little sketchy, but we'll see. It worked fine on the A5, so we'll take a chance. Um, I like the fact that the rail is sideways, so this bed should be more stable. Your toolkit, your brain box, which takes full-size SD cards, it looks like, and USB sticks, which is nice. And it actually comes with a usable sample of filament. It comes with that lovely 200 gram batch little roll of filament, and it's yellow, so it's not black or white. And this is the spool holder. I'm not sure where that goes. I'm guessing it's 3D printed, very nicely 3D printed, I might add, and the rest of it must be in here. So we're gonna now look and see what's inside the box. You guys wanna see this part? Get that porno music going. There it goes! Okay, you already saw the spool sample, some screws, some Allen wrenches, they actually look like some decent ball and wrenches. Um, parts and pieces, I'm guessing brackets for the gantry attaching to the base. Your thumb drive, spool holder, spool holder bracket, though I'm not sure where that goes yet. Your typical ubiquitous blue USB cable, US power cord, and a spare nozzle. And this weird piece of mylar? It looks like, feels like mylar. Not mylar, um, polyethylene. But this is for leveling. I'm guessing this is to stick under the nozzle and to level the printer. It says it's for leveling test card, so we shall see. Stay tuned. Interesting differences with their printer. They do have custom knobs, but they're small. So I will probably replace them with larger knobs just because they're easier. You can actually buy the new um, Ender 3 style large knobs on Amazon for 10 bucks a set. Um, four wheels, two adjustable. I do like the fact that the rail is sideways, so you get them more spread apart, which should make this arrangement of wheels a lot more stable. And it also means the belt is running parallel on both sides, so that should take care of eccentricity issues. The carriage plate is nice and thick. I don't see any problems with that. It looks like it is an aluminum plate with glass on top. It uses the same ultra base style surface that the A5X uses. Not too fond of this connector here, although maybe the amperage will be lower at 24 volts and it won't be a problem. So we shall see. They did a good job on the A5X, so we'll see how they did on this one. Otherwise, standard affair, nice thick metal plates. This does not flex, not much. End stop is located right here. Not bad. I do like the way the plug is sitting right here and right here so the wires can tuck neatly. Otherwise, CR10 build. The gantry is installed. Next step is to install the little T brackets on the side that reinforces the gantry. You got one for each side. Since the limit switches are already bolted onto the front, they're not part of the T-brackets. So the T-brackets just get bolted on. T-brackets installed using hammer nuts. We're basically finished the construction. Just attach the spool holder to the electronics box and connect the electronics box to the printer. All right, all the wires are plugged in. I do find it interesting to note this has dual Z um, lead screws and dual Z end stops. So you should never have to balance your X axis because it will rebalance every single time you level the printer by leveling both of them. That's pretty cool. All right, the JG04 A5X is working well. I was able to level the bed in one shot by eyeballing it and did not have to tweak or adjust the knobs once I eyeballed it. And it's working fabulously. Here is my first print. Of course, my bed leveling Marvin with its long skirt going around the entire bed to make sure it was level. And now I am printing a Haribo Gnome 
the little protonome gummy bear version and it's printing great I do see a little bit of salmon skin so I may be adding TL smoothers to this because this printer is working well enough that I think it might be worth it the touchscreen works great same as on the A5 it has the USB drive and full-size SD card which I love I will be switching to the SD card because this screams break me if someone bumps into that but having the option of being able to shove a USB drive in there is really nice but overall I'm impressed it's got a 320 by 320 by 350 build volume that might actually be 330 by 330 it the build plate is 330 by 330 I have to check to see if that's actually fully addressable by the nozzle but um, otherwise nice freaking printer and it's a uh, it's quite a bit cheaper than the CR10S and this is CR10S competitor it has a color touchscreen it has filament detection um, I assume it has power off or zoom the other version of the printer did the A5 and it has a bigger X and Y build volume dual Z motor with dual end stops so when it homes the printer it always relevels the X axis every time so not bad for 369 bucks not bad good job JG Aurora more to come later as I make more prints